Hello, Glitch Reaper here, and you may be wondering what's up. Well, anyhow, uh, this is definitely going to be interesting because I'm about to reveal an interesting thing that I found out while I was doing some experimenting uh, with uh, the D&D uh, &D Crusader mod pack. Uh, so, yeah, th this is going to be really amusing. You see, a big part of the Witchery mod in the progression well, if you can call it progression, it, it's decently freeform in a lot of ways, but there are certain things you really need. Anyhow, uh, whenever you go to the spirit world, you usually have some technical difficulties, because it's meant to be that way. Like, you can't get items in or out normally? Well, I found three different ways at once to bypass that. In this mod pack. Yeah, I, I've done stuff like that before, I know, but it, it's, it's just... Okay, it's just something I do. But anyhow, I'm going to reveal now how this works. Although, first of all, I need to show my setup for trying to make this easier. I have a Dreamweaver of Nightmares, and the thing is, whenever you use a Brew of Sleeping next to it, you can go to the dream world with a good chance of having a good dream rather than a bad dream. And I also have three source blocks of Flowing Spirit. And these increase the chance of having a good dream as well. So I should be able to just go in and one-shot this and then reveal what all I've really done. Although, if you look very carefully, you might just have spotted one of them. Or two. Okay, admittedly, I'm not hiding two out of the three very well, but the, but the other one will probably surprise you. <laughs> so, well, maybe. Okay, anyhow. Brew of sleeping. L l let's, let's do this thing. L let's totally do this thing. So, mm-hmm. Okay, I had the good dream in, in round one. Now, if you look low enough on the screen, you may notice that, uh, well, for one thing, that the, the GUI around here has some additional bar on it uh, compared to normal. That, Well, it's the way it's got yeah, I think I just didn't configure my, my bar right on this particular world. But anyhow, my experience bar is making it a little weird to see the items in my Battle Gear 2 offhand slots. Uh, or, or, I guess you could say hand pairings, really. But I did have a wand on that before, and you can see that it removed it whenever I, I went into this uh, dimension. Well... You can also see that I can't use tabs up here to go between things. So if you think that using a knapsack from Tinker's Construct will work, the answer is no. <laughs> and, uh, but there's some other things you can do, including one from Tinker's Construct that was totally forgotten about. It's called Press B for belt. <laughs> yeah, if you preload a very particular uh, thing, namely the, uh, and, and I got this hotkey, by the way, to go into this screen, if you have a traveler's belt, which is normally made with some leather, some aluminum ingots, and a chest, uh, you can have a special ability that whenever you hit whatever you got it hot keyed to, in my case B, uh, you can switch your hot bars between two different hot bars. Kind of like the current feature in modern Minecraft where you can save hot bars for creative and like set them up to key combinations. So, one group, the other group, one group, the other group. It's just th th that easy. So if I were to, oh, say, zoop into this area, and uh, in the mod pack, or maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe Crazy Craft, or some other mod pack I'm playing with Witchery, I could quickly just click on some good armor, and fly around, even in survival, and in all likelihood, if I do it fast enough, I will be able to avoid the attacks from the Nightmare, which is very annoying, and I did not remember that Creepers could be here, so th this has to die. Sorry, Creeper. This is what I get for hitting the water first. <laughs> Luckily, this is good armor, and it just took a little damage. But it, it, that's not the point. The point is that I just used my uh, my hot bar swap ability to bypass the system completely. And as you can see, one of the things in the bar was a backpack that has various items in it. So if I were to, oh, say, use this crystal ball right here, I could generate a village, like normal from Minecraft comes alive, and have myself an instant base of operations for the dream world. Now, the way it works is interesting in changing its properties between a good dream and a bad dream. Like, uh, I do believe structures remain, but certain things do change. It, it, it is dynamic on how you enter. So, I think even if I had a bad dream and I like, generated a, a village right there, that I would be able to 
remain having that structure whenever I got a good dream later, and you always, almost always have to go through a bad dream first. It's how it works. I mean, even the Dreamweaver Nightmares recipe, I think, uses the bad kind of cotton in, in the first time. Now, other things that I can do to bypass this is, you may remember from uh, D&D Crusader that I have the ability to have particular accessories that are <laughs> not exactly in the normal bobble slots. Now, the thing is that if I were to hit that button, I go to basically the regular bobbles, right? And I got nothing in there. If I'd had anything in there, they would in fact be gone and be returned upon my re-entering of the overworld for whatever reason. So that's how it interacts with bobbles. It did take that into account. But <laughs> not everything. N not not everything. Because, um, well... <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, what button did I have that at? Well, anyhow, I do remember the hotkey I had the operation of. Yeah. My, uh, my cloak of voluminous pockets from witching gadgets. That works. It has an activated ability. And you can't go into it from an item form anyhow. It has to be used from your uh, uh, equipment. So you have to have it hotkeyed. Uh, I have a couple of items in here that I snuck through because of my fancy cloak, which is pretty apparent on my character model. So, yeah. So that little piece of thumbed up stuff is awesome. So, yeah, thumb it up. And in this case, it gives you a specific benefit in the spirit world. And I've got my hotkey to tab for the active abilities menu. So, therefore, I'm having a tab with that. Uh... Now, the third thing that I found out in this pack that works out really beautifully is uh, hit backspace for the backpack. <laughs> yeah, adventures backpacks, they also have the ability to do this. And on top of that, if you were to put something inside that also gave you additional inventory slots. Yeah, I'm doing inventoryception here, and I haven't even begun to inventoryception. So, yeah. And the reason why it does this with... Uh, adventure backpacks is, well, let's just take a look at it. It's on your back, but it's not technically equipped in a chest plate slot. It's a floating it's a floating uh, equipment location. It doesn't have any specific spot it shows up in your menus. It just is. And I think it just couldn't take this kind of attachment to a player so it doesn't track it right. And because of that, you can sneak whatever you'd like through your adventure backpack. So isn't that cool? And if I remember right, I can also put down the backpack to... Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, I had to do the, 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 the key inside, so yeah. So, let me de-equip that. Now I have my, my backpack in my hand. I can put it here, I can interact with it as normal. And I can, of course, just re-equip it. And now it's back on my back, and I can access it whenever I'd like, just as before. So... The cool thing about this is I've basically been able to sneak three or four different inventories worth of stuff into the spirit world. And I can theoretically do the same thing going back. But remember, when you go back, it also switches between your inventory here and your inventory there when it comes to witchery. So this means, among other things, that you have to make sure that you uh, hot swap your, uh, your hot bar again with your fancy belt and therefore don't have anything stuck over here that you'd like over there, and vice versa. So it's one of those things where you have to keep track of where you are and where's your stuff. So, yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, but anyhow, the thing is that I've basically proven three different ways entirely that you can basically completely get past the embargo. So, thank you very much. Uh, this has been uh, uh, this has been Glitch Reaper. I'll be uh, signing off for now. Hope to hear from you all darn lips. Hope to hear from you all later. So, bye for now, everybody. <laughs>